new project, new hair, and new camera. So now I don't have to use my phone all the time. But now that all those new things are out of the way, let's go inside and learn about our new project. All right, so we're going to talk more about this week's project. This week, continuing with the Elizabeth Hartman theme, I'm going to be doing the penguin party. So penguin party is a pattern that I actually already had. I was surprised that I had the paper pattern for it anyways. So this quilt is going to go to one of my aunt's coworkers, one of her staff members that just had a baby boy. They referred to him as happy feet and there was something that had to do with tacos in there. I can't quite remember what it was, but originally I was going to do the taco truck pattern that I'll link right here. But once I saw the sew along and remember the happy feet and then the fabric that I decided to go with, it was just perfect. So I've got my fabric all picked out except for the background again, much like the bears. So at some point we'll revisit that. But so let's see what I got. I've got for the penguins, I've got Kona jet black. I wanted some nice dark penguin colors. I've got the white for their little faces. Um... I thought I had the beak fabric. It's somewhere. Um, it's like a golden color, so I'll have to figure out where I put that. And then for their little, their little sweaters, instead of doing the plaid, I'm going to do some taco inspired, or so I feel like it's taco inspired. So I've got little. These are the Chili Smiles fabric from Robert Kaufman. So we've got some happy avocados. We've got some super cool chilies with their sunglasses and hats. We've got some onions, and some of them are even crying. And then some smiling tomatoes. And then these ones don't have faces, but they just felt right. Some cilantro. And then some cacti. The pattern itself calls for four fat quarters to make 20 penguins, 12 penguins. But since there were six fabrics that I really liked and I wanted to shake it up a little bit, I decided there'd be two of each penguin sweaters, I guess. There are six small penguins, three medium penguins, and three large penguins in this pattern. So each one will have at least a small penguin and then either a medium or large penguin, and then I'll shuffle them around. So we'll have little penguin families. So next thing you're gonna see, I'm gonna iron these out, and then we're gonna get cutting. So let's get to penguin. Good news, I found my beak fabric, nice and bright and yellow. So now uh, it's all starched and everything's gonna get cut up. <laughs>
So now that all my black pieces are cut and my white penguin pieces are cut, I'm now down to my sweaters where I'm going to sort these into two piles of which ones will have the tall penguins and which ones will have the medium penguins. And then everyone's going to get a small penguin. So I think those two will be in different piles. These two will be in different piles and these two. But now I've got to figure out who's going to go where. So let's find out together. small sweaters, our medium sweaters, and our large sweaters. So each sweater, each small penguin has comes in this one. In our mediums we have cactus, onions, and chilies. And then in our large ones we have cilantro, tomatoes, and avocados. So now I'm going to see how far I can get with piecing without having my background fabric since that seems to have plagued me again. And then maybe by Tuesday when I'm back at work, I'll know what background I want to do. So the update is I went ahead and I picked up my background for my penguins. I looked at a couple different colors, mostly basing off of what the the penguin sweater color would be, those different chili smiles prints that I got. And so I was like, well, maybe red, but no, there was just, I think a red background might have been too much. So I started looking at orange, but then the background of the avocado one was more of an orangey gold and I didn't want that to clash. So. I looked at some of the more detailed prints and colors in there, and so I went with yellow. I looked at a couple different yellows. I looked at lemon, I looked at canary, and then I looked at one other one. But what matters is I went with canary yellow. So this is gonna be the color for my quilt background. So I'm excited to see how 
it turns out with a bright yellow background around all these penguins. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a nice little pop for the baby quilt. And I think I'm gonna do the striped, one of the striped prints from the Chili Smiles fabric line to my binding. So I think that'll look really nice and really pop right against that yellow. <laughs> cute so now I'm gonna make 11 more of these and then it's gonna be on to making their bodies and sweaters all right I've got 12 penguin heads so next time we will be making the bodies and putting the background all together and then turning this into a quilt top mm -hmm. 